Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Before we get into today's investigation, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post the tea. Breaking news. Now before we dive into this video, I just want to say that I don't know whether this is a rumour or not, and if Shane is actually okay. I have not seen anyone publicly speak out on his whereabouts, but I do hope he is okay, and I really hope that these are just rumours. Nonetheless, I will update you guys as soon as I find out more information. So basically, according to a comment on a drama channel, Shane is reportedly in hospital. The commenter had said, My friend in LA said the police scanners went to Shane Dawson's house and picked him up. He is in hospital. She then said, My friend fact checks for TMZ and said there has been multiple calls and now she is trying to get a source to confirm the story because they can't run the story without a confirmed source. They used his real last name. She said the person on the phone said he goes by the name Shane Dawson on YouTube. She thinks there was some kind of fall and medication was involved and someone in the house is out of control and then a full drinking and took some p maybe. They can't confirm whether he was taken, but pretty sure he is, because they had someone fitting the description admitted to the hospitals on the police scanner. Now due to all the evidence that's come out recently, what he said about Tati on his Instagram live yesterday, and how much backlash he is currently receiving online, it's not surprising to people that Shane could very well be in hospital. Now Tati had said in her exposing video that she had contacted Jeffrey at the time of drama get in last year to let him know that she was worried for James's safety, as he was very high up on a balcony in Australia amidst the allegations and the claims that were being brought to light at the time. Jeffrey literally told her that James was a narcissist and that he wouldn't do anything. Fast forward to today, it appears Shane may be in a similar headspace to James Charles, that or there's some other health problems taking place. The public however has not been informed of anything on any public platform of Shane's or anyone who is close to him so it's hard to know. Now Trisha did however tweet this out not long ago, which is sort of alarming since finding out about Shane allegedly going to hospital. Trisha had said his channel has been demonetized his name forever associated with bad actions. He's apologised and offered no excuses. What more do you want? Again, this is a human being. I only can take so much. Please think about this. It hurts my heart so much and it worries me even more. The fact that something is worrying her and she said that a human being can only take so much leads me to believe Shane might be in some serious trouble. So quick update. Nick Snyder, a drama channel, has said that he's spoken to Shane on the phone and Shane is apparently not in hospital. Now Shane could just be saying this to hide any sort of embarrassment maybe, but I I'm guessing if he was stable enough to get in contact with Nick, then he probably isn't in hospital. So thank God he's not in hospital, but like I said, I will keep you guys updated. Now leading on from this, Jeffree Star's conspiracy collection with Shane Dawson is no longer up for sale on the Morphe website, which has sparked huge speculation surrounding whether or not it was removed because of the backlash Shane is currently receiving, which is significantly worse than Jeffree's. Shane and Jeffree's conspiracy collection was released in the second documentary series that Shane made with Jeffree. Both documentaries documentaries that were filmed and the launch of the conspiracy collection were hugely successful. The most successful in fact in YouTube history. The entire documentary series raked up 300 million views overall. We have now learned from Tati's exposing video that the real reason Shane and Jeffrey made the series were for two reasons. Shane was jealous that James was making a documentary series and didn't want to be in his shadow and Jeffrey was jealous of how much more money James is making than him as a competitive makeup brand. Well James doesn't actually have his own makeup brand but he has his own palette with Morphe which which is probably doing just as well as Jeffree Star's cosmetics line. Last week, after Shane released his controversial statement about the beauty community, Dramageddon 3.0 took place. His statement did not go down well with his followers, who were particularly upset about Shane saying that James needed to be humbled, the fact that Shane was defending Jeffree Star, and lastly, what triggered people the most was Shane saying that he was done with the beauty industry only hours after he announced his restock of the conspiracy palette. Shane's statement also sparked an interest in his past. Fans immediately started stirring up old YouTube videos of him, making frequent jokes about PEDophilia wearing blackface and using the n-word. In response to the growing backlash, Shane posted a 20 minute apology briefly addressing his old videos, without giving or showing any examples of his prior actions. Although the apology was somewhat authentic, fans weren't impressed with other videos that were resurfacing, videos that even Shane is too embarrassed to apologise for or speak up about. Now following Shane's downfall, Target announced it would be removing Shane's books from all of its stores, and now it appears that Morphe has removed Shane's conspiracy collection from their website 
side as well. Morphe has not yet confirmed or denied the claims that they've dropped Shane's palette, but Jeffree Star Cosmetics products are still available on their site. Now here's the interesting part of all this drama. Jeffree apparently owns shares in Morphe, meaning that he could actually be behind Morphe dropping Shane's palette. And despite multiple claims from Jeffree and insiders at Morphe stating that Jeffree is not a co-owner of Morphe, this never before seen footage was leaked not too long ago on April the 17th, 2020, where Jeffree was seen talking himself up to a jewellery dealer and bragging about how Morphe is a company that he's invested in and how he has opened up multiple Morphe stores around the globe. Yeah, so it's called Morphe Brushes. So it's like a company that um, I invested in and I have my own brand in the store. Kind of like a Sephora, but like... <laughs> yeah, it's like the new wave. So we have 75 stores opening this year by Christmas. Yeah. Wow, yeah. correct. Yeah, him saying that he's opened up lots of stores worldwide it definitely makes it sound like he's a co-owner. In a recent article from Insider Magazine, they shed some light on some saucy things a Morphe representative had told them about Jeffrey being an alleged co-owner. First of all, the article states, Tati Westbrook said in a new video that she believed Jeffree Star is a co-owner of Morphe Cosmetics. A representative for Morphe told Insider that false. We can confirm that Jeffree Star retains no ownership of Morphe, a Morphe representative said. He's not an investor. He's not a co-owner. Our only relationship is through retail distribution of Jeffree Star Cosmetics and our 2019 Morphe collaboration. Well that literally contradicts everything Jeffree said in that video of him talking himself up to that jewellery store owner because he literally said word for word that he was an investor. And in Westbrook's a 40 minute video, the beauty star alleged that Star and Shane Dawson had stoked her feud with James Charles because they were jealous of the young YouTuber's success. Westbrook suggested that Star's potential co-ownership of Morphe could point to a motive for his alleged role in stocking tensions that ripped apart the beauty community in 2019. So if Jeffrey really is a co-owner of Morphe, why wouldn't he drop James's palette you ask? Well he's not exactly the owner so that's not actually his place to decide. Here for the Tea also recently got in contact with a member of the team at Morphe Care Crew, who sent her this email about dropping Shane Dawson from their site. Please know that we take the feedback from all our customers very seriously. We do not condone or agree with the actions and behaviour of Shane Dawson, and they do not in any way reflect Morphe's beliefs. At this time we no longer carry the conspiracy collection on Morphe.com or in Morphe stores. We completely understand your position and appreciate your valuable feedback, which we will be sharing with our leadership team. Thank you for your email. Sony has also come for Shane's videos. And not only that, Sony has also copyright striked four episodes of the Shane and Jeffrey series. Pretty sure if you get three copyright strikes on your channel, your channel gets deleted. So why hasn't Shane's channel been deleted yet? He might be going back and forth disputing with YouTube, but who knows? Now just to elaborate on the hypocrisy of Jeffree Star once more, here's a little throwback to an Instagram story he had made calling out one of the many beauty gurus he dragged during Dramageddon for not making an apology video. Imagine. Imagine not uploading apology video. Imagine not uploading an apology video and speaking to your audience that pays your mother bills. Imagine just saying, nah, and going back to uploading a makeup review. And now, when he's at the centre of his own controversy, he's out here hanging with his fans and enjoying the LA sun. Also, how interesting would it be if Jeffrey actually came out with an apology to James Charles, admitting that he was actually jealous of James Charles' success, hence starting Dramageddon 2.0 last year? Where would that leave Shane, especially after Shane's outburst yesterday on his Instagram Live? Well, it appears that most of Shane's friends have ditched him and are staying silent on the whole situation. Fickle pickles. However, as bad as the situation is, I think we can all agree that Trisha Paytas and Eugenia Cooney are his true friends because they're willing to put their careers on the line to stick up for their friend. Well, that's a lie, Trisha doesn't have a career, but Eugenia Cooney definitely does. Trisha had actually made a video about the drama yesterday calling out Tati and Jeffrey while sticking up for Shane and she had also tweeted lots about the situation. And from the looks of some of her tweets, it honestly seems like Shane was sitting with her behind the keyboard telling her what to type. Tati's vid just cancelled cancel culture. 40 minute vid for her at the end to say she thinks it's a conspiracy, more is coming out with hair vitamins. Stop it. Hair vitamins are a scam. Halo, sugar bear, whatever the else. F they just break you out and don't do shit. WTF cares. Tati crying over her brand not having the best launch. But nobody care about me either. So I'm over here f***ing my p*** for five dollars. Get another job. WTF. Imagine being 40 years old and blaming other people for being the reason you sit, record, talk, edit, upload a video. What the? 
was happening. Another YouTuber who came to Shane's defense was a lady who had featured in one of his documentary series, Brittany Taylor. Brittany had basically said in her statement about Shane, how caring he was, kind things he's done for strangers, and the lengths that he's gone for her. Eugenia Cooney commented on this post defending Shane, stating, everything here is so true. It makes me so sad to see so much hate. People can grow so much in 10 years. He has one of the kindest, most generous hearts, and is truly an amazing person. He has done so much good for people and would never hurt anyone. So what are your thoughts on this drama so far? Let me know in the comments.